Today I'll teach you how to implement jQuery date picker in ASP.NET Core. So we'll start by adding the tag helpers inside the view. Now in the body tag, I'm adding a form element and I'm setting its attribute. The very first attribute is method whose value I'm setting as post. Then the next attribute is ASP controller whose value I'm setting as home, which is the name of my controller. And the third attribute is ASP action. I'm setting the name of the action method here, which is index. Now inside the form element, I'm adding an HTML input text box for which I am specifying the ID and the name attributes. The name attribute will be used to receive the value of the text box inside the controller. This particular text box will be used along with the date picker or in other words, calendar control so that when user selects the date in the calendar, it will be displayed inside this particular text box. Next to the HTML text box, I'm adding a submit button. This completes the HTML part and now we'll move to the jQuery programming. So here I have pasted some CSS and script files which will be required by the jQuery date picker plugin. Now I am adding a script tag. And inside the script tag, I am adding the document ready event handler. Now inside the document ready event handler, I am applying the jQuery date picker plugin to the HTML text box. Now for the date picker, I am setting some properties. The very first property for the date picker plugin is show on whose value I am setting as button, which means that the calendar window will be shown when the calendar icon button is clicked. The next property is button image only, which is set to true, which means the button used for the calendar will only be an image. The next one is button image where I am setting the URL of the icon. And the final property is date format where I am setting the date format in which the date will be displayed inside the text box. And I am specifying the format as mm slash dd slash yy. So when any person selects the date, this particular format will be displayed in the text box. So this completes the application of the date picker plugin. Now let's move to the controller. Now inside the controller, I am creating a action method and naming as index. This action method will have a parameter named selected date, which is same as the value of the name attribute of the HTML text box. This particular parameter will receive the value of the HTML text box. Now inside the action method, I'm converting the string value of selected date to a date time object. And then inside the view back object, I am saving the short date string value. If you want to know more about view back, Let's click on the info icon on the right hand side. Finally, the view is returned as this method will handle post calls. I am decorating it with HTTP post attribute. This completes our programming part inside the controller. Now let's move to the view again. Now inside the view, I'm checking the value of the view back object, whether it is null or it is having any value. Now inside the if condition, I am adding a script tag. And inside the script tag, I am displaying the value of the view bag object. Using a JavaScript alert message box. Now we are done with the programming part. Now we'll run our project and see it in action. 
as you can see the text box the calendar icon and the submit button is being displayed now i am clicking on the calendar icon you can see the calendar is being displayed now i am choosing the date and the date is now set into the text box in the format which i have set which is mmddyy now i am clicking on the submit button and you can see we have got the date from the controller which is displayed in javascript alert message box so with this we come to an end in this video today we learned how to implement jquery date picker plugin in asp.net core also we learned about the various jquery date picker plugin properties and lastly we learned how to send the selected date from the view to the controller so that's it from me so if you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe and please also click on the bell icon so that you receive notifications goodbye